Hello and welcome to this edition of Campus Views. I'm your host, Andrew Swiderski. We're coming to you from the video production studio here on the campus of SUNY Cobaskill. This is a student-powered production of the Spring 2022 COM 240 Introduction to Studio Production class. Here with me today is the manager of our new Fighting Tigers varsity esports team, Ajani Simpson. And, this is, and on this edition of Campus Views, we will be discussing the new esports team here on campus. Ajani, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So for those in the audience less familiar with esports, can you tell us exactly what you do? So for esports, I am uh, I'm one of their managers. We have two at the moment. And I'm also a player on the team. Mm -hmm. As a manager, I keep the room open for players who want to come in practice from 6 to 9. I allow them access to certain games because they certain games you need credentials to mm -hmm. get onto on the PCs mm -hmm. and as a player I am a sub role on COD mm -hmm. and we have our first in-person game on Thursday. Nice. Uh, do you enjoy managing an esports team? Or Yeah I do. I enjoy one playing the game and allowing others to play games that they really enjoy because mm -hmm. In this generation, a lot of people don't see gaming as fun. They see it as childish and, mm -hmm. you know, managing for them. It's like, hey, you know, it's okay to play games. Have fun. Do you? Yeah. Um, I know you said the team practices from 6 to 9. Where does the team practice? Inside Warner Hall. It's mm -hmm. right across from the help desk. Mm -hmm. We have, I believe, 14 PCs there and three wow. Xboxes. Nice. Um, has the pandemic caused any problems for the esports team? I, f I only joined my second semester here, and from since I've been there, I feel like gaming as a whole has increased because because of the pandemic, people stayed home, and they've wanted to become gamers. They've wanted to do what they see their favorite YouTubers doing, mm -hmm. and I feel like during the pandemic, it has made video gaming flourish in that sense. I agree. Um, are online tournaments popular given the s circumstances of the pandemic? Do you yeah. still hold tournaments? We we're in a we're in our tournaments. Other teams that we have there are in their tournaments, and professionally too, there are other teams that have their tournaments, like the CDL, which is the COD leagues. There's Apex tournaments. There's League of Legends tournaments. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, thank you to our guest, the Johnny Simpson. We'll be right back with more campus views right after this. Stay with us. Roll over. Can't high five. All right. When you adopt a shelter pet, you discover all the things that make them unique. And your mother and... I am totally a hot person. Right, guys? Thanks for being honest. They're a little bit of a lot of things, but they're all pure love. Adopt pure love at theshelterpetproject.org. Hello, I'm Andrew Swiderski, and welcome back to this edition of Campus Views from the video production studio here on the campus of SUNY Cobaskill. Again, our guest today is Ajani Simpson, and we're talking about our new varsity esports team on this edition of Campus Views. Thank you for staying with us. Uh, so currently, what would you say is your most popular game? It would have to be our COD team by far. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people have tried to join. Um, last semester, but unfortunately due to like schoolwork and the workload they had to leave mm -hmm. to prioritize because you know They're a student athlete not the other way around. Mm-hmm uh, Why do you think Call of Duty is your most popular game? Because of the CDL the COD League they are a bunch mm -hmm. of professionals that are playing the game and it's advertised so players like scum a BZ on those teams those big popular teams are causing a lot of people to want to play COD. It's been around for years, so mm -hmm. it's drawing attention to our team. Um, what is your personal favorite Call of Duty game? At the current moment, yeah. it would have to be Cold War or Modern Warfare, because mm -hmm. I didn't start all the way back 
with BO3 or BO2. Uh, so, yeah. uh, do you see uh, Call of Duty changing as the most popular game anytime soon? I feel like it's on a decline because of the fact that there aren't a lot of stuff for them to implement anymore. Mm -hmm. They're just reusing ideas, and I think that League of Legends may be on the rise because it's a new game. It's bringing in people. It's making more money currently than COD's team. Hmm. Um, are you currently looking for more members? We're on the always East looking for more members. Always. We want to make two teams, three teams, so they can always play against each other. Mm -hmm. more practice, the more experience they get. Mm -hmm. And uh, where can students go to find out more about the eSports team? They can go to Warner Hall. They can speak with Coach John Besember, who runs it. Mm -hmm. They could even email me mm -hmm. at Simpson, I-S-M-P-S-O-N, no, I-S-M-P-S-O-A-493 at cobalskills.edu. Okay. Uh, well, that's all the time we have for this edition of Campus Views. I'm your host, Andrew Swiderski. A big thank you to our guest, Johnny Simpson, for taking the time out to chat today. For more information about the two and four years communication programs here at SUNY Cobaskill, visit www.cobaskill.edu today. You can also find us on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Just search for Colby, SUNY Cobicom on any of those platforms. You can also just search hashtag SUNY Cobicom too. Once again, I'm Andrew Swiderski. Thanks for watching this edition of Campus Views from SUNY Cobaskill.